Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of upcoming episode Throne of Seal based on novel. So let's start. In the air, a gaudy, dark red area appeared where one could clearly distinguish two fiend commanders. Their backs were sparkling with dark red light. Lifting up the heavy swords in their hands, they started a hacking motion at over a hundred meters distance from Long Houchen. A concentrated dark red glint of light instantly shot into the air. The two chops matched up completely and didn't grow in volume. Instead, it instantly decreased in volume and aimed straight at Long Houchen. A joint attack, underscore Long Houchen's eyes wavered. He didn't know that these fiend commanders were brothers and therefore had a very great compatibility. They were experts in combined attacks, which made them very famous among fiends. The strength of the two brothers' joint attacks was second only to the power of a fiend king's attack. Facing that dark red blade, Long Houchen didn't seem perturbed. It was obvious that this attack wasn't aimed at killing him, but at interrupting his accumulation of power. Demons and humans have been facing each other for so many years that they understood very well the kind of techniques used by knights. Han Yu didn't move, his body letting out a similar kind of golden fog, coming from the same power storing. Having absolute confidence in his captain, he believed that this kind of attack would absolutely not harm him. The demonic eye revealed six tentacles, and they became much longer, moving around him. Be it demonic wolves or demonic bears, those encountering the tentacles would only shiver violently in response, before dropping dead. Without a doubt, demonic eyes are the nemesis of demonic bears. The latter have extremely good physical defenses, but their defenses against mental attacks cannot really be praised. As demonic bears are magical beasts of the sixth step, a demonic eye is unable to break their defenses, but with a mere spirit shock, a demonic eye is able to put these demonic bears in a daze. And, given that the demonic bears were climbing, it would certainly cause them to fall down. Given their massive stature, such a fall would not be much different from a tree falling, greatly influencing the climb of the other demons. This way, the area defended by Long Houchen and Han Yu didn't sustain many attacks from the incoming demons. The knights present all being veterans of practical battles, they didn't rush to join. They rather chose to focus on reinforcing the other areas of the battlefield, leaving Long Houchen and Han Yu plenty of room to battle. An orange glint shone on Long Houchen's left arm, coming from divine obstruction. Long Houchen didn't move, not even an inch. The highly concentrated dark red blade turned instantly into countless specks of light, as a thick, bright light lit up Long Houchen's surroundings. A resplendent flash of light rose up abruptly, taking the shape of a dazzlingly bright lightning bolt, aimed straight at two powerful enemies. In the instant that followed Long Houchen's action, Han Yu also acted. The wings at his back followed after Long Houchen, and the instant after taking off, his eyes became a bloody red, as he aimed for the fiend commander on the right side. As if the demonic, I was sticking to Han Yu, he followed Han Yu the whole way. Lightning flash reached a frightening speed, and Long Houchen was aiming it at the area in the middle of two fiend commanders, as if aiming to attack the two at the same time. The fiend commander brothers weren't twins for nothing. On their faces appeared looks of contempt. One of them held his sword in his right hand, the other one had his sword on his left hand, and the two of them held their other hands together. The fiend commander on the left swung his arm, suddenly aiming a chop forwards while throwing his brother ahead, along with a blood-colored sword edge. In mid-air, one could vaguely see a massive fiend figure flashing, surrounded by a dark area. A fist-sized, blood-colored skull suddenly launched from the sky, aimed at Long Houchen. Although this blood-colored skull was small in volume, the instant it came into their view, Long Houchen and Han Yu both had a slight feeling of terror. Right at this moment, the demonic commander reacted. Soft, distorted ripples were spread to a one-meter diameter around that massive eye. Immediately, the black mist that was forming behind that blood-colored skull was dispelled, revealing the figures of the two fiend commanders, and at the same time, that mental shock attack caused them to slow down. In the state of lightning flash, Long Houchen was indeed just too fast. From the instant that red skull appeared, it took no time for Long Houchen to clash with the enemy. However, it wasn't Long Houchen's body that impacted, but his snail carapace-shaped shield, which changed instantly into a size merely one-third of a meter in diameter. In fact, in all of human history, starlight divine beasts, such as this divine snail of sun and moon had appeared only three times, and as the spokespersons of the goddess of light, the purity of their light attribute surpassed even a sign of light such as Longhouchen. 
How could a light attribute of such purity be contaminated by the effects of this kind of cursed magic item? At the same time that the orange glitter of the divine snail of sun and moon shone, a gentle and luminescent sparkle spread out from the shield, engulfing that blood grudge. Then, the divine snail shield moon lit up with intensity, and let out an intense ray of light, repelling all the surrounding darkness without exception. In the scope of this bright light, Long Houchen and Hen Yu both felt as if they were refreshed by a sunrise. An immense sun appeared, causing Long Houchen's left arm to feel heavy. The spiritual energy in his body was drained at a frightening speed. In under a second, 50,000 units of spiritual energy were used up like that. But by chance, this amount was extracted from the gold essence mithril armor, otherwise, he would have been totally sucked dry. But this energy wasn't consumed without good cause. Under the influence of the formidable area of bright light, the fiend commander brothers came suddenly to a standstill. They were shouting in pain, but remained totally motionless. A black gas was released from their skins, coming from within their bodies which were crumbling at a frightening speed. What is happening not only were the enemy stunned, even Long Houchen was in shock. It was so extreme that it even attracted the attention of Long Tianying and Samanaga, who were mainly in the sky serving as means of deterrence. That golden color was really extraordinary. It seemed as if the seven colors of the rainbow were glinting inside, like soft waves rippling inside. This phenomenon covered an area a hundred meters in diameter, in which only Long Houchen, Han Yu, the demonic eye and the two fiend commanders remained. The demonic eye disappeared the instant this light appeared, relying on his contract to leave. Even if this bright light wasn't directed at him, he didn't dare remain here. But Han Yu and Long Houchen had another kind of feeling. They felt that this extraordinary bright light had attained a state of transcendence. All the spiritual cavities in their bodies shivered bizarrely. At each shiver, their internal spiritual cavities felt as if they were expanding. And the spiritual energy in these cavities was transforming to enter the state of spiritual highland at a frightening speed. What happened? And how, underscore Long Houchen himself didn't know, but these two fiend commanders were rapidly crumbling, disappearing bit by bit. Underscore what is happening, underscore this was the thought all the powerhouses present shared. Right, how could the aftermath from the clash between the two commanders-in-chief be stopped like that? Although it had weakened with time, even the powerhouses of the eighth step fled from it immediately. Yet that rainbow-colored light stopped it just like that. The seven-colored light was starting to weaken, vanishing gradually, but only bones were left of those two fiend commanders, and even those bones started reducing to ashes. This wasn't an instant kill, but appeared even more terrifying than an instant kill in the demon's eyes. Although the two fiend commander brothers' uniting hands weren't at the level of a true powerhouse of the ninth step, their full power attack already reached this level. Yet they died like that, without any way to hit back, and unable to even struggle against the opponent. Han Yu, who was originally prepared to make his move, floated at Long Houchen's side with a blank face, completely speechless for a moment. CIS that the true might of the divine snail shield of sun and moon, underscore originally, when Long Houchen obtained this shield from the starlight divine beast, Han Yu was also at his side, and therefore understood the origin of this item well. But did this bright seven-colored light really come out from a piece of epic equipment? The epic tier really is too strong. The bright seven-colored light finally disappeared, and all that was left was Long Houchen and Han Yu, as well as the magical crystals from the two fiends of the eighth step. A strange silence followed, spreading to the whole battlefield. It didn't persist for too long, and about ten seconds later, loud cheers broke out on the side of the dragon-resisting mountain pass. They had personally witnessed a miracle, the power of their own powerhouses. Could anyone else than a divine knight be stronger than this gold essence foundation knight, the knight temple is invincible. In the midst of these cheers, every knight seemed to have gained in vigor, frantically charging against the demonic knights and demonic bears. The airborne knight regiment also rallied, taking the initiative to attack the aerial enemies. Without a doubt, the drive of the knight temple had risen to its peak. As their commander, how could Long Chenying let such a good opportunity go by? He immediately gave the order to launch the counterattack. All of the ninth step powerhouses from the Night Temple rose to the sky, placing an insurmountable pressure on the enemies that they slowly approached retreat. Saminaga gave this order with a cold look, lifting up his right hand. An intense glow spread out from the eight demon gods, and their eight demon god pillars started to glint, enveloping the demon armies in their range, in order to bring them back to their camps. Boss, what's happening? Han Yu asked Long Houchen in a low voice. Long Houchen shook his head with a bitter smile, I don't know either. 
It seems that the Red Skull we encountered previously infuriated the Divine Snail Shield of Sun and Moon, which led to this. It acted totally by itself. There's no way I could have such a powerful ability at my disposal. Luckily, I had the Gold Essence Foundation armor, since that move used over 50,000 of my spiritual energy. Yet, I felt that the bright seven-colored light from before had yet to display its true might, as if restricted somehow. Han Yu became silent. Underscore if it is so powerful when restricted, I don't dare imagine what could be its true power. Long Houchen didn't know, and Han Yu didn't either. But on the other side, the demon god of death Samanaga gave an answer a divine tool. The Night Temple actually had such a divine tool in reserve. The most important is that everyone is safe and sound. Han Yu continued, Captain, after we are back, I will hand you the pills Lin Shin prepared. It includes forest boa training pills and other kinds of medicine. Long Houchen shook his head with a smiling expression, I have no need for these, just keep it for your own. Forest boa training pills are certainly good things, but my external spiritual energy is already at a bottleneck. If I cannot increase my internal spiritual energy further, my external spiritual energy won't be able to keep progressing. The period of deep meditation brought Long Houchen much understanding. His external spiritual energy was indeed much more powerful than the others, mainly because of his constitution as a god's chosen one and the benefits brought by Haoyue. Forest boa training pills were appreciably potent, but wouldn't be able to compare with the amplification brought by Haoyue. Moreover, Long Houchen didn't want to keep relying on pills to progress. Coordinating the progress of his internal and his external spiritual energy was his current priority. In other words, he was unwilling to produce too huge a gap between them. Besides, now that he reached the eighth step, the priority became to train his internal spiritual energy, which would automatically get cleansed through his spiritual cavities. Long Houchen didn't have any need to worry about his spiritual energy's impurities affecting his body, and just needed to continuously cultivate. Under these circumstances, pills would indeed not be of much use to him. His current priorities were set in training and in amassing points. Han Yu didn't insist. This place being the dragon-resisting mountain pass, he had to wait for when they returned to persuade him. The demon armies having retreated like a tide, only corpses from their deceased remained, as they escaped through the gap created by the demon gods. The hatred between their races went beyond repairability. A great part of it is due to the difference in culture, customs and knowledge. Humans would never be able to use their own kin's corpses as food, let alone making it their main source of food. And in fact, one could say that, in times of insufficient food sources, the demon's motive for launching attacks wasn't to attack the enemies, but to make food for their side. In this war, a human victory was not only based on the damage to the demon's forces, but also on the severance from their food supply. But of course, for this reason, the next demon attack was bound to follow in a short time. The importance of a victorious battle was unquestionable. Having always been suppressed by the demons, they were only able to cling to their dragon-resisting mountain pass for a year and a half. The arrival of a victorious battle was enough to fill every night with excitement and acclamation and restore their vigor. A vigorous soldier will always be much stronger than a soldier without vigor. And the greatest contributor to this victorious battle, Long Houchen, was called by the Night Temple after returning. Standing perfectly straight in front of Yang Hao Han and Long Chenying, Long Houchen's expression was tranquil. Currently, he was not clad in his armor, and Han Yu was also beside him. However, in contrast to the calm Long Houchen, Han Yu appeared quite anxious because the two divine knights didn't look so pleased, Long Houchen, do you understand your status? Long Chenying asked with a heavy tone. Long Houchen replied immediately, I am one of the Gold Essence Foundation Knights of the Night Temple, ranked a Saint Knight. Long Chenying, and what else? After a short time of surprise, Long Houchen replied, I am also the captain of the 64th Commander Grade Demon Hunter Squad, stop mentioning your Demon Hunt Squad. In your current state, how could we be at ease letting you reform your squad? Have you already forgotten about our three agreements? This time, even Yang Hao Han was totally furious. Long Houchen gave a puzzled look to these two elders bearing the title of Divine Knights, Grandpa Yang, I don't know what error I made. Yang Hao Han broke out in anger, you still don't know. You are currently not only a Saint Knight, but also a soldier of the Temple Alliance. Do you think I made you look for a mount of your own to directly join the battle? I wish for you to stay low-key in the battlefield, yet as soon as you arrived, you immediately made yourself known to all the demons. Now how will you guarantee that you won't be attacked on all sides, recognized by all demons? Equipment can be changed, but what about abilities? And moreover, your divine tool ranked shield didn't come from us. 
It is part of your personal abilities. Using it in front of so many demons, aren't you just giving out your own identity? Why are you taking the path, I was the least hopeful to see. When Long Houchen spoke of the circumstances of the divine snail of sun and moon, he naturally spoke about Tower of Eternity as well. Given that it touched upon necromancers, it was a very sensitive topic. He had wanted to keep this secret, but ever since hearing about the past of the slumbering calamity Elux, he had never returned to the Tower of Eternity. It could be seen as him avoiding it. He didn't wish to obtain any more abilities from this human sinner. The slumbering calamity Elux caused the immense calamity that befell humanity. As another sign of light, Long Houchen felt extreme sorrow regarding what Elux had done. If not for this catastrophe, how could humanity have been reduced to such a passive state for the whole six thousand years of the Dark Era, defense of sun and moon, borrowing strength from the owner's heart? Guided by the light, blessed by the gods, bringing a new dawn, the divine snail shall act as a shield. These were the last words the divine snail of sun and moon told me. And I don't understand how the divine snail shield of sun and moon created that seven-colored bright light. I could only feel that this light was boosting me and then, these fiend commanders died inside it. Yang Haohan and Long Chenying looked at each other, exclaiming loudly, what a gifted person you are. Youngster, you are really incredibly gifted. The birth of the sign of light was indeed a gift from heaven, in hopes that we would not be crushed by demons. So you have to treasure yourself. We need you to lead us to drive out the demons, and let earth recover its glory. From what you are saying, the previous phenomenon was accidental. But the fact you joined the battle by your own initiative is a mistake. Do you admit it? Long Houchen nodded with haste, I admit my mistake. Grandpas, please don't make me leave the battlefield. I have already abstained from joining for a year and a half. I really hope to be of use to our Knight Temple. I will unconditionally listen to any of your future assignments and comply to Grandpa Yang's three rules, to do my utmost to avoid getting found out by them. Seeing him become so nervous, Yang Haohan couldn't help but smile, okay, okay. Then I am giving you another chance. Don't forget about what you just said. If you take such premature risks again, don't blame your grandpa Yang for having you return to seclusion, yes, I will obey. Long Houchen immediately beat his chest with his right arm, performing a standard knight salute. If it was up to Yang Haohan, he would really rather conceal Long Houchen and wait for him to reach the ninth step before joining battles. But he also knew that this wouldn't benefit Long Houchen's growth. The sign of light would need continuous experiences, rather than to be raised in a greenhouse. If he is kept in a safe environment to train from beginning to end, perhaps his cultivation will increase but his overall strength will certainly be lower. After reaching the ninth step, the enemies will only get stronger, and there won't be opportunities to let him get stronger by practice. Therefore, he didn't stop him. Long Houchen also entered into deep thought. Yang Haohan's words had some effect on his thinking, but the actual facts were that every time this point was reached, the shield would lose its power. Just how could this be explained? Standing on the side, Han Yu suddenly jumped into the conversation, Temple heads, Captain, how about changing our train of thought? What if we took the opposite direction from Captain's guess, the opposite direction? Long Houchen looked at Han Yu in awe. Han Yu nodded, yes. From what Grandpa Yang said, the divine snail of sun and moon bears in its name the nouns sun and moon, because it can absorb the essence of the sun and the moon. Then, if the time the sun and moon are crossing isn't the time it is at its weakest, it might just be when it is the strongest, but if it is its strongest time, how is it that I cannot sense its existence? Reaching this point of thought, Long Houchen's eyes suddenly lit up, deducing a lot of things from a single hint as if he had suddenly caught on to the crucial part, oh. If the time the sun and moon are crossing is its time of peak power, then it is possible that it stops working properly at that time, because I am unable to entirely control it. In other words, it's not that I lost the ability to use it, but that my strength was insufficient to grasp its true power. And that would be when the divine snail shield of sun and moon is its true self. This explanation makes the divine snail's last words rational. Long Chenying nodded, it makes sense. It is very likely so. Only, just how much spiritual energy does this divine snail shield of sun and moon need to be triggered? I can give you a little hint by telling you that activating a divine throne also requires a huge amount of spiritual energy. The basic cost is 100,000 spiritual energy, and every divine throne can be used for a quarter of an hour. After this time passes, spiritual energy will be consumed persistently. And of course, given our cultivation, we can keep absorbing the light essence in the air indefinitely to replenish our storage making it possible for us to maintain a state of battle for a longer period of time. Long Houchen's eyes gradually lit up, I understand. I understand. Shouting loudly and in a very excited voice, he held the nearby Han Yu in his arms, thank you, Han Yu. 
I finally understand what the divine snail of sun and moon is all about. Han Yu looked back at him, full of surprise. Although his supposition was quite likely, he hadn't actually figured out any explanations. He only shared his thoughts, and didn't expect to be of such great use to Long Haochen, tell us, what is it all about? We may be able to help you find a way. Yang Hao Han declared spiritedly. A supra-divine tool. So in these specific situations, there's a high chance that it would have the might of a supra-divine tool. Yang Hao Han's voice was still shivering. He obviously understood the meaning of a supra-divine tool, and much better than Long Haochen. Long Haochen cut in, Grandpa Yang, I am just guessing. I don't know whether it will really turn out that way. And even if it does, let alone me, even you grandpas may not necessarily be able to activate a supra-divine tool. After all, the stronger a divine tool is, the more considerable its requirements of spiritual energy will be. Long Chenying took a deep breath, Houchen, do you understand what a supra-divine tool represents? It's powerful, able to reverse heaven and earth, matching, no, surpassing an average forbidden spell. Long Chenying replied, your words are too broad. Let me explain it to you. You should know that our Night Temple has six divine thrones. Which one of the six do you think is the most powerful? Long Houchen shook his head. I don't have a proper understanding of the six divine thrones yet. Back then, father told me that I should wait for my cultivation to be sufficient to learn about them. Long Chenying replied, your father is right. It won't make a difference to learn about them after becoming strong enough. But what I want to tell you is that divine thrones also have a ranking. For instance, Old Yang's divine throne is quite a lot more powerful than mine. And your father's divine throne surpasses ours in the battle aspect. You've personally seen the power of divine thrones, and do you have a guess of how high Samanaga's cultivation is? Although Samanaga's demon god pillar is also a divine tool, demon pillars are not the same as our divine tools. They are mostly used to avoid the death of demon gods, while greatly increasing durability, their other amplifying effects cannot compare to our divine tools. Thus, by relying on the divine throne of order and law, I can make up for the difference of over 200,000 spiritual energy separating me from Samanaga. In terms of strength, he is still above me, but if we fight to the death, it will only result in a stalemate. This is the might of a divine tool. Long Chenying said this much to prove to Long Haochen the importance of a divine tool. And if a divine tool was capable of this much, there's nothing to be said about the role of a supra-divine tool. After you grow, you will be sure to become the successor of our Night Temple so there is no issue with me telling you this. Among the six great divine thrones of our night temple, there exists one that no one has ever obtained. And this divine throne is, based on our ancestors' guesses, an ultra-divine tool. Long Haochen and Han Yu had chills, the looks on their faces becoming ardent. Indeed, they hadn't thought that an ultra-divine tool would be in the hands of the night temple. Yang Hao Han elaborated on Long Chenying's words, a long time ago, the arrival of the demon race brought destruction to all human nations, and could decimate us at any time. In this period of crisis, humans became unprecedentedly united, and established the six great temples. Under the lead of all the powerhouses, we barely preserved our current territory, relying on natural strongholds to defend our last homeland. But at the current point, demons were still not firmly established, and not done adjusting. If we waited for them to become familiar with the continent and organize their new recruits born from epidemic, the destruction of humanity was bound to become inevitable. At that time, a meteor fell from the sky, falling in the territory of our night temple, and an immense throne appeared from it only one. Long Haochen asked in surprise. Yang Haohan nodded, that's right, only one. This immense throne looked elegant, and emitted a really powerful holy aura, letting out a supreme might. It was originally wrapped in the gigantic meteorite, and appeared after the latter was smashed to pieces. That meteorite was made of many kinds of metals and gems. Our ancestors gathered all the craftsmen, alchemists and powerhouses in the whole alliance. Using that fallen divine throne as a model and its might as a guide, they constructed five divine thrones, which are the divine throne of terror and sadness, the divine throne of doom and slaughter, the divine throne of defense and mercy, the divine throne of wisdom and spirit, the divine throne of order and law. This was the first time Long Haochen and Han Yu heard the full name of those five divine thrones and this only served to increase their curiosity towards the ultra-divine tool that served as a blueprint to make all of these. Long Haochen asked, then, when making these five divine thrones, how did they know about the might of the divine throne that came out from that fallen meteorite? Without knowing of its precise power, what data did they use? 
Yang Haohan replied, based on the old records, this is how it went. After the meteorite shattered, it formed five masses, each of which were formed of metal and gems. It seemed that they had great attractive force towards each other. That's the source of these five divine thrones, as for their power, reaching this point, his eyes seemed to reveal a look of yearning, at the time that original throne appeared, it activated once, what? Long Haochen and Hanyu couldn't help, but cry out in alarm. So that ultra divine throne activated once, but didn't you say that there has never been a human that managed to use or to control this ultra divine tool? Yang Haohan nodded, indeed, no one has ever been able to master it, it released its great power on its own. And after that event, it entirely lost its original splendor, and has been remaining dormant in our night temple for 6,000 years. 52 demon gods were attacking the interior of our headquarters, when they saw this original divine throne. Of course, they sensed the great power from it, and immediately acted against the original divine throne, prepared to take it away, but right at this time, the power of the original divine throne erupted. Stimulated by some force, it suddenly broke out, with an incomparably resplendent light. In the sky, clouds of nine colors descended and then, the original throne suddenly separated, taking the shape of an armor and a divine sword lit in nine colors. That armor seemed to be alive, grasping the divine sword to launch attacks at the demons. Its attacks were very simple, and their trajectory drew the shape of ten characters in the sky, each of which didn't belong to this world's language. In front of that, only eighteen of the fifty-two demon gods managed to leave alive. But the first generation demon god emperor was heavily wounded, ruining the drive of the demons. At this point, both Yang Haohan and Long Chenying's faces were unusually flushed. Their breathing became hasty, and they were totally unable to control their feelings of pride and excitement. Long Haochen and Han Yu felt their blood boiling. The original divine throne, relying on the nine-colored lit sword, drew the shape of ten characters and actually got rid of thirty-four demon gods, wounding the demon god emperor heavily. What kind of power was that? This could be nothing else but the strength of a god. Long Haochen asked with a shocked voice, were our ancestors able to distinguish those characters? Yang Haohan shook his head, they were unable to distinguish them. As I said, it is not a language from this world. But they came to understand their meaning, because at the time they appeared, they seemed to have left a response in every spectator's mind. And these words were, the divine throne of eternity and creation, Long Haochen, and Han Yu were shocking due to excitement, their fists clenched very tightly, the divine throne of eternity and creation. Long Haochen repeated these shocking words, unable to control his feelings for a moment. Yang Haohan took a deep breath, precisely because those artisans and blacksmiths witnessed the power of the divine throne of eternity and creation, they came to understand what a divine throne is. From this, they worked hard, going through three generations to finally make the other five divine thrones. When the divine thrones were done being made, every temple was originally supposed to be bestowed one, but afterwards, it was found out that the divine thrones were all of light attribute. And it seemed that they would only approve knights as their partners. Therefore, after several hundred years experience, the six divine thrones were finally left in our night temple. After saying this, Yang Haohan had a sincere feeling of pride. Right, over these past six thousand years, this was the greatest pride of the night temple. And one could say that the reason why the night temple was able to remain the head of the six great temples at most times, clearly lay with these six divine thrones. Long Haochen nodded silently, Grandpa Yang, I have never blamed the alliance in my life. I know that everyone is doing all they can for me. Don't worry, I will definitely pay attention to my own safety and do my best to avoid taking risks. Yang Haohan smiled at his reply, that's all for the best then. No matter what we may say, although you violated orders today, your performance enabled us to obtain a great victory. This battle let us weaken the enemy forces, making our dragon-resisting mountain pass gain instability. Old Long, how about from now on these two participate in the meetings of the dragon-resisting mountain pass? Since we are training successors, there's no harm in increasing our pace a bit. Long Chenying acquiesced, maybe. I will convene a military meeting right now. You two can come along. Yang Haohan remarked, Old Long, the news about this divine snail shield of sun and moon of Haochen's was very sudden. I am going back to the alliance for a trip. Since the holy war has reached this stage, we have to think over the future. I am going to assemble the six great temples for a meeting, so I am leaving the dragon resisting mountain pass to you for the moment. Long Chenying and Yang Haohan having worked together so many years, he immediately understood the meaning hidden behind his words, and nodded with no hesitation, be at ease with me here. In any case, if it comes to the worst, then we can just. At this moment, he stopped in the middle of his sentence. The two divine knights then exchanged glances, their eyes bitingly cold. Long Haochen and Han Yu had a start. Although Long Chenying didn't say it clearly, 
it could be understood from his words that the Knight Temple seemed to actually have other trump cards, that would even be able to resist against the eight demon gods leading the armies. These six thousand years of preparations were indeed not for nothing. Long Chenying and Yang Haohan had a simple conversation, before taking Long Haochen and Han Yu straight into the conference room of the Knight Temple. Long Chenying took Long Haochen and Han Yu to the main seat, where he signaled the high-ranked officer to sit down, before sitting down as well. Naturally, Long Haochen and Han Yu didn't have seats of their own, and stood behind Long Chenying. Yet Long Haochen actually became the focal point of everyone present. Gold Essence Foundation Knights were all well-known figures among Saint Knights, and were therefore quite familiar with each other. Behind every Gold Essence Foundation armor was a powerful, well-known Saint Knight. As a newcomer, Long Haochen was clearly not familiar to these veterans, but in the previous battle, he could be said to be the most dazzling. The shock from that seven-colored light, which got rid of two famous fiend commanders, created a peak of morale for all the knights present, so he remained deeply in the memories of these high-place knights. Therefore, although they didn't know who this newly promoted Gold Essence Foundation knight was, their looks were full of goodwill towards him. Seeing everyone present sitting down, Long Chenying declared, Today, we acquired an unexpected victory, as we repelled for another time the demon attacks. I can see in each of you the glory of a knight. Let me introduce these two at my back to everyone. This is Han Yu. I believe that you have seen him before, he's one of your juniors, and the only grandson of the Saint Knight Han Qin, who is currently taking care of a lot of affairs while keeping watch on the Alliance. After discussing this with the Alliance head, we decided that from today onwards he will also be qualified to join all the military conferences taking place in the Dragon Resisting Mountain Pass, as a visitor. The group of knights remained silent, and only nodded in response. To say nothing of his identity as the only grandson of Han Qin, his performance in the Holy War was enough to gain approval from these high-placed officers. Killing the enemy without fear, giving appropriate orders to his subordinates, and before he turned thirty, he had already become a Temple Knight of the Seventh Step. With these feats, obtaining special treatment from the Temple was nothing surprising. Everyone here could see that Long Qianying was putting effort into cultivating Han Yu to serve as a major character among the future generation. Given his outstanding performance, he would very possibly become a divine knight in the near future. Han Yu took a step forward, bowing with a standard knight salute, before returning behind Long Chenying. Long Chenying shifted his gaze on Long Haochen, this one is a newly promoted Gold Essence Foundation knight. On him is the twelfth Gold Essence Foundation armor. I believe that everyone saw his performance in the battlefield. For the moment, I cannot give a more detailed introduction of him to everyone. You can call him Twelfth Golden Knight. Including that shield that you all saw in the battlefield, his strength was entirely acquired through his own ability, without support from the Alliance. I announce hereby that he will be temporarily acting as a Saint Knight Head, commanding all the Mithril Foundation Knights. With this mere declaration, comments immediately overflowed, shocking even the person concerned. How could he know that his grandfather would actually bestow on him such an important task? A Saint Knight Head. In the Knight Temple, this position is the highest below only the few Divine Knights and Saint Knight Elders. Sitting below, an Elder made a comment, Head, isn't this choice kind of sloppy? Besides, we are unfamiliar with this newly promoted Gold Essence Foundation Knight. This Elder was one of the few people not clad in full armor. He had short white hair arranged in order, a tall stature, and was clad in a white robe. His eyes seemed to be glinting brightly, and even with his mental force, Long Haochen was unable to see through his actual cultivation. The space around his body faintly seemed distorted. Long Chenying declared to the elder, Comrade, this decision was made by Alliance Head, and I after deliberation. This twelfth golden knight is a retired demon hunter, who made an extremely great contribution for the Alliance, and is totally suited for this post. The elder in the white gown looked down in approval and became silent. From Long Chenying's appellation for him, one could see that this elder had a good position in the Knight Temple. Long Chenying turned back to the other high-ranked officers, the duty of Saint Knight Head has been held by Han Qin for a long time, but over the past years, he has mostly been participating in handling the official matters for the Alliance, and unable to lead the Saint Knight Regiment to kill the enemy. I know that some of you, especially those that are Gold Essence Foundation Knights, are not convinced about the Twelfth Golden Knight's ability. But the Temple would definitely not make a sloppy choice. I will merely reveal one of the accomplishments he has done. If anyone here has done a greater accomplishment than this, this declaration will be withdrawn, and the one taking the position of provisional Saint Knight Head will be him. Hearing this, the whole assembly became silent. As a divine knight, Long Chenying had an extremely high authority in the Knight Temple. 
and the Knight Temple's military had been under his command for a long time. So seeing him get angry, no one dared call his choice into question. Moreover, Long Chenying just said that this bestowed title was based on his contribution. Of everyone present here, who hadn't made a heroic contribution for the Knight Temple. They wanted to hear what kind of incredible contribution he did, to the extent of outstripping the whole older generation. After sweeping his gaze to everyone present, Long Chenying continued, a short time ago, Twelfth Golden Knight led his team in the depths of demon territory, and killed one of the demon gods, ranked 72nd, Andromalius. Hearing this, he took a pause. In the meeting room, some knights already had looks of disapproval. Killing a demon god was certainly a great contribution, but the snake demon god Andromalius was merely ranked last. Although this was a good contribution, saying that it surpasses all the high-ranked knights would feel far-fetched. Long Chenian continued, furthermore, he destroyed the demon god Pillar in Andromalius' possession. Which is to say that, in the future, there will never appear another snake demon god. Bam a big commotion followed. Killing the snake demon god isn't much, but destroying a demon god pillar is a completely different matter. Since the start of the Dark Era, a whole 6,000 years had passed, yet humans had never recorded the destruction of a demon god pillar. They absolutely didn't expect this feat to have been accomplished by this twelfth golden knight. This was the first time a demon god pillar got destroyed, which carried an incomparable meaning. This meant that humans finally found a way to destroy demon god pillars and sway the demon's foundation. Let alone the ones present here, even in the whole temple alliance, this contribution was second to none. Part 1 End Here